Hello, welcome. In the previous video, we have learned how we can use accessibility functions for adding the conditions, the if statement. Now we will see the same if statement using the accessibility functions, how we can use through the code. So you can see the last time what we have done, we have just, ex just expanded the accessibility functions from here, right? XLT function just drag and drop the if statement and the, the value, right? Based on that, we added. So now in this video, we will see that how we can achieve the same using code. From where we can get the code, we know that we have this mapping and we can get the code from here only, right? This is the code part you can see. If you will observe the code, that's the, really it's, it's easy to identify the XML code for if statement. Here you can see the node. So you can see this is our node. Let me just see response wrapper inside the response wrapper. This is result is our node and in this result only we have to map the value. So here you can see the result for this result. What value we are going to provide? This is the value, right? This is the value, but we can see we have provided this value based on condition. So what condition we have added? We have added here. This is the condition, right? So the first condition is for the positive number. You can see greater than zero, less than zero. In XML, it's converted the, the greater than or less than into the end percent LT semicolon, right? And the zero. So what I will do is that here in the mapper, I will delete the condition. So now you can see we, this is our statement, right? So what we will do, I will delete this one, delete target node. Yes, you can see one if is deleted. Now I will come here and I will delete this second if. <coughs> yes, right? So you can see right now we have only one statement, one if statement and what one if statement we have. Once you will click here, you can see once this re request wrapper number is greater than zero. And what will be if this is true, what we are going to do is that we are going to show the hard coded value or message as positive number. The same we have to do for other conditions. So right now this time I will not drag and drop if statement from here. I will drag and drop and I will use the if statement from code. So what I need to do is that I need to just move to the code part. Here you can see. And in the code you can see here. Let me zoom out. Here you can see. We have right now we have for this result endpoint we have only one condition. Right. You can see this if started here and the slash denoted that the end of this element. So if started and if here ended. And now you can see what is the condition if this is our node. This is our endpoint for the request wrapper the number if number this is the greater than symbol right greater than zero now instead of that we have to add two different different values so just i will make a copy of this copy and i will paste here right and here instead of this one i will use less than right it, it will again automatically convert and after the here i will use another one for zero right here i will use it equals to zero so here once it will be equals to zero i will use provide value as instead of positive i will use zero zero number right and here instead of positive i will make it negative and e z a t i b and here we'll provide negative example right so this is the condition we added this is if a statement how we can use if using coding the accessibility if in our mapping so once if you will move to the code here okay let me validate first so now it's showing error because of this id so we can't have the same id twice so what i will do id is not required here as we are not going to use this anywhere right so i will delete this id or we can provide unique id here so now it's fine i will just validate remember this point right id is not mandatory but yeah somewhere if we, we need to use we should provide that one so now you can see we are getting error because of this symbol, the less than symbol we use. So what I will do instead of that, I will again use here and I will convert from the mapping. So now let me validate here. So it will be validated. Then I will move to the mapping directly. So now you can see it's validated successfully. Move to the mapping side canvas. And here you can see all the condition, whatever we added, that will be added here only, right? So if I will expand here, It's, let me check again it's why it's not reflecting here so is equals to here we have to enable the accessibility functions after that we'll move to this result part and you can see it out right now we have three different different values the first one is less than you can see the once i will click here you can see this is the greater than sorry 
and the second one is equals to as I told you there were error while adding this one so I will use less than here now I will add right just trigger so you can see this is condition is checked and now here we have second one is the equals to right so we have already added all these things just validate and once validate is validation done if we will move to the code part you can see we have the value right here you can see this is for the greater than less than and zero and if we will move to the test part once you will click here generate simple input and instead of this value if we will pass here 10 and once we will execute you can see it will return back positive number if we will make this minus 10 it will show the negative value you can see the negative number and if we will provide zero zero it will show us the zero so this is the simple way we can use accessibility functions in coding using the coding also and i have already shown you how we can use the same in mapper in next video i will discuss about the accessibility switch statement that can have the multiple option based on the base based on the values so let's be connected with us i will i will show you in the next video so if you will see we will activate this integration and i will show you the same result in that while executing or running the integration so here it's activated now it's time to run while running you can see in the body if minus 125 if i will run it will show us the result as negative right and if instead of minus if i remove the minus it will show the positive number and if i provide zero it will show the zero so this is the simple way we can add the logic for if a statement thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video if you find this video helpful you can suggest this video to your colleagues and share with your friends in whatsapp group telegram linkedin somewhere else thank you so much for watching